Families love coming here to Granville Island, and if you're expecting to start or add to your family, you know how pricey it can be shopping for maternity clothes. So, what do you do when you're not quite ready for that moo moo dress, but your clothes are getting a little snug? Here's how you can convert your own clothes into maternity chic while stretching your dollar. Hi, my name is Erica, and I am seven months pregnant. And I guess you could say I'm kind of in denial. I'm still wearing my regular clothes, and I'm just about to go into a local maternity store to see if there's any way that I could modify my clothes so I can continue to wear them just a little bit longer throughout the pregnancy. I think that pregnancy is really treated as a celebration now. It's a, a really important time in people's lives, and it shows in their fashion and in the way they feel about themselves. I remember, you know, looking at pictures when my mom was pregnant, she looked like a tent. I'm looking for something to modify my own uh, clothing. I'm still wearing my own jeans. Yes. And they're getting a bit tight. <laughs> well, I've got a couple of suggestions. One would be using a product called the Bella Band. It's essentially just a tube of fabric. And uh, the great thing about this is you can undo the top button of your pants and it's going to cover that. It's going to give you a layered look. Mm -hmm. Your shirt is, is no longer too short. And um, you can just undo that top button mm -hmm. and you'll get a few more weeks, maybe a month longer out of them. Another great benefit with it is right after baby is born, it's a, a useful piece for nursing, for, for breastfeeding. Just pull it up right under your breast and it covers your stomach. If you find that the Bella Band has stopped working or you want another, we'll convert your regular pants into maternity. The trick is that they need to be a little bit low, uh, a lower cut, and have a little bit of stretch. You need to be able to get them up over your hip. We get uh, a seamstress to cut the top part of the jean on and to put a panel around it. This will take you right from day one to the very end. Great for shrinking down as well. A really great piece to have in your wardrobe for maternity and non-maternity is the shawl sweater. The wrap in whether it be dresses or shawls is a great piece to add to your maternity wardrobe because it grows with you and it's flattering to any figure. The shawl sweater can work in many parts of our country for long periods and without having to get a full maternity jacket. Another great thing that I recommend in extending the life of your non-maternity wear is to pull out all of the longer shirts and tank tops and undershirts that you have and use them as layering pieces. They work great for allowing you to wear a shorter sweater or a jacket and, and extending the life in those items. An example would be one of these shirts. This is not specifically a maternity shirt. Mm -hmm. It's just cut is longer and so it'll carry you through. The problem with using too many like larger sized items is that um, they don't fit in all of the right places. You know, I think that going with narrow and just a little bit longer or an item that's flowy makes more sense than sizing up. When you start sizing up, I think you really uh, start looking frumpy. Uh -huh. I think that fashion is sexier. I think that the pregnant woman is viewed as, as a sex symbol these days and, and that's, it's fabulous. This is great with my long t-shirt and my converted jeans and my wrap. It looks like I can go a couple more weeks, I hope. For more tips or to pick up these items, check out Belly and Beyond on West 10th or go to their website. You'll find all of that information on our website, cbc.ca slash livingvancouver.